We're here in Assen bringing you live coverage of the Moto3 class Dutch Grand Prix. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which riders have opted for soft. Just a few minutes to go until the Grand Prix begins. Assen, the motorbike university, is once again ready to put everyone to the test. The way, and here we go. Good start from Kato Tober and Tatsuki Suzuki, actually, number 24 from the second row. Antonelli leads in the early stages as we roar up towards turn one. Arbolino's trying to get the inside line as well, but it is Antonelli who will hold steady. His teammate coming through to try and take second. Brilliant ride by Suzuki around the outside of Arbolino through the first corner. Is it a 658 squad record to 1 2? It certainly is. Palman Anthony then got the drink start, got the whole shot. Perfect launch by Suzuki. Fourth to second in three corners. Not the greatest of starts from Aaron Pinnett a bit further back. Turn five can be really tricky when there's a big bundle of riders. We exit now and head on to the main slang straight. A couple of riders just knocking into each other. Still Antonelli the leads. There's Tobey. He's got Jakob Kornfar, number 84, just up behind him. Tabor there in third, 84 is four, Farley in four. Up the backside from Team Foss, certainly what was required. He looks much, much better, doesn't he? Not that one in Argentina, but looks fit. And here he is now trying to find a way through on Tober up at the ball. That got really, really tight. Really tight. In fact, Cornfarl cost himself a position there because he had to jam the brakes on, running a little bit wide, and Bernardi came on through. Bernardi now into fourth place. Up towards Maven here. Fast right hand there as they all jostle for position. Antonelli doing a really good job at the moment defending this big angle of rider. Here comes Toba. That's brilliant. That's fast. The Japanese rider leads. Lay apart on the bike of Lorenzo Dalla Porta. Slowly but surely starts to edge its way closer to the top here. Dalla Porta has been a bit of a steam train in this 2019 season, a great move there from Tony Arbolino to take the lead and further back, Romano Fanati's trying to pick his way through there as well. Ivan Needle stuff here in Moto3, Toba retaliates to go back through to take the lead again. Full turn 15, Fanati carries such brilliant rhythm, he gets that bike so fast, blue over Hyder, and in that fast sweeping left hander, he's so, so quick. Boggy is the fastest man on circuit now, back in 18th place. He's the first man in the 42, the 1.627. That's a great lap time by Boggy. 18th, bloody 1.8 seconds behind. Your race leader, Tobin, that's how tight it is at the top. Yeah, here in Astrid, the top 25 come by three seconds. What a race we've had already here in Aston. Thankfully, we've still got 16 laps remaining, and it's still Tober that leads the way from Fanati. Then Antonelli, the pole man, Arbolino fourth. That's it, Suzuki has just set his personal best lap of the race. Arbolino fires away through on Antonelli in the first quarter. Arbolino back onto the podium places now. I don't know what's happened to Ayumi Sasaki. He's dropped all the way down to 20th place. It's a terrible start for the Japanese rider who's in need of a decent result. He wasn't going too badly. Last time around, he did a 45 flat. I wonder if he's just been in this yeah. active battle. He's just been nudged off somewhere. His lap time dropped considerably on that last lap. He was 1.5 seconds slower than your race leader, which is now Romano Pinati. Pinati then leads. He's found a way through on Toba. Hondas pack a punch, don't they, in 2019. Five Hondas at the front of this one. That was close. Kaito Toba almost wiping out the front wheel there. On Tony Arbolino. It's nearly two years now since Romano Pinati had a dry race podium, the Saxon Ring, in 2017. Oh, that was aggressive. There was not a lot of room there. We know Pinati's not too shy when he's got to get on the front foot. He didn't leave Tober a lot of room there, but hard but fair, you've got to say. He's got Tober with Arbolino just behind the Japanese rider. Pinati and Arbolino actually the two BNE snipers men exchange passes after the race. Look at that by Arbolino with the slip screen down the back straight. Two bike slip screen fires his way through on both Tober and Pinati, although his lead lasts for about five seconds because Pinati squats and strikes straight back.
down the back straight. Tova, brilliant. He takes the lead. He goes underneath Tony Arbolino. Bernati there, his teammate, just in third. You can see the importance of the slipstream down the back straight, Steve. A couple of times now we've seen with a two-bike slipstream. Bernati did it to Arbolino and Tova. Tova gets revenge. Tom Vemos, he's down to Struben, turn five. Koto Tova will lead. Oh, there he goes again. Darren Binder, the South African, causing trouble with Nico Antonelli, who has to go wide. He loses a couple of places, but the number 40 there is coming. Well, we said he's had a lot of work to do, but Darren Binder is on the charge, and he now he's right on course for the podium battle, right on course for first place at the moment. What a charge through the pack from the South African, 25th to 4th with less than half race distance completed. Big problem for Darren Binder has been keeping the pace going till the end of the race. He might not be the most consistent, but he is box office entertainment, that is for sure. So what's happened here to the number 23? Someone's eyes gone, oh, he, he's taken the long lap penalty. Is that Antonelli? Yeah, well, I've not seen anything on our time well, screens that suggest he, he... Did he think cutting the chicane like he did with the Binderance. Did he think that that meant he had to go through the long lap penalty? Blimey, he's done a penalty. Here's Darren Binder up the inside of Lorenzo Della Porta. It's all getting a bit tight here as we go into the Timber Chicane. Binder squeezes underneath Arbolino. He goes up into second. Romano Bernati has to cut the chicane then. Apparently, Antonelli did the long lap penalty. He hasn't been sanctioned yet, so right direction now. It's okay, so. Bernardi trying to find a way on the inside of his former Sky VR46 team. As Darren Binder, who started this Dutch TT way, way down in 25th place, he momentarily had the lead. Tova strikes straight back, and Binder gets kicked off by Arbolino. And wow, well, it's getting really, really tight here. Panaporta now sweeps through up into second place. Great job from the Italian. Tatsuki Suzuki showing up as well, although he just had a bit of a moment, the number 24. It's still somehow Tova the lead. There is Jama Masia. He's just up behind Arbolino, Arenas goes wide. It's all happening here in Aston in Moto3. It's such a mixed bag so far this year for Tova. Four top tens, including that epic victory in round one in Qatar. Well, there's been three DNFs in that, including the heartbreak, the late heartbreak in Catalonia when he fell on the last lap. Della Porta then hits the front for the first time. Beautiful move into the penultimate sector. Darren Binder, there is the dive bomb, and he almost wipes out Kaito Tova as well, who has to take a diversion just across the green tarmac. Oh, what's happened Man. here? That's Tova. Suzuki, Tova. Tova, Fernandez. Goodness. Chaos at the Struben. Absolute nightmare. And there's a couple of riders looking hurt there, including yeah. Raul Fernandez. Suzuki's gone down again. Absolute chaos. Tova then. So let's pick the bones out of this one from the helicopter shot into the Struben. Raul Fernandez goes wide, he knew nothing about that, it's really difficult. Vietti's in there as well, I didn't see that. I see Vietti, Suzuki was just an innocent victim, he was caught on the outside. Let's watch Vietti, Tobe hits the back of Vietti. I think that's what's happened there, and it's just so tight round there. Well, three of those riders would fancy themselves in the trying to get on the podium here, as it is. Jakob Kornfeil tries to take the lead, but Dalla Porta says, no, you don't. Still Arbolino's there, still Darabin, the Dennis Foggia, Bernati, McPhee, and Marcos Ramirez. Oh, they say rubbing his racing while Cornfall rubbed Bella Porta, big style, up at the uh, second bar. That's dropped Bella Porta back down into the clutches of Foggia and also Darren Binder. Bella Porta just holds off his fellow Italian, keeps third place. Jakob Cornfall, we mentioned, four podiums in his previous 170 Grand Prix. None of them have been a victory, but he leads here in Aston. Jakob Kornfeld, big, big news. The race leader has got to go through the long lap penalty. The Czech rider has exceeded track limits on too many occasions. Jakob Kornfeld, what, four laps away from a famous first victory in Moto3, but he's got to do the long lap penalty. Well, the way he's riding at the moment, he might be able to take that and still be <laughs> in contention. He's having a barnstormer here. Oh, his heart's going to sink when he sees that on the dashboard, though. Well, he's got to take that then. That will be interesting to see where he comes out of there. There's so much to come here still. Darren Binder's gone down. Darren really Binder big. has this, gone down. This is like Barcelona. We thought that was a race of attrition. 
They're drafting like flies here at the moment. Binder out for contention, but the big news, the race leader, Jakob Kornfarl, has got to go into the long lap penalty. Well, there's a big, big gap now with Kornfarl and Dallaporta. They've broken away from Rodrigo. Is Kornfarl going to do it this time round? There's only two laps of this race to go. He's got to do it, otherwise, there's going to be a penalty coming his way anyway. Yeah, here he comes. He's in. That's probably cost him the chance of victory, Jakob Kornfarl. Oh, Gut in. Oh, what? Absolutely gut. He's going to have to drop back in some way. Well, he drops back into third place, but he's right in the clutches now of Rodrigo. And Gura is there, so is John McVie. Dalaporta leads across the line, oh, but he's going to be pressured here. Tony That's to fill up with the stars of the race. We're going to take a look at the Moto3 race final ranking. This rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race. And now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party.